Good morning, Shane. Buenos dias, mi amiga. How are you? I'm doing my best to be my best. How are you doing? I am good. So I said that I said that the J yes. I texted it to Jay last week. He was in Mexico. He was in Can Cancun with a couple of his friends. And so one day he said, How are you? How are you? I said, How was your day? He said, It was good. How was your day? I said, it was it was it was fine. And um, I said, I'm doing my I said, I'm gonna say like Shane says, I'm doing my best to be my best. He said, What's that? What's the matter? I'm like, I just I'm doing my best. <laughs> Why are you sounding the alarm? Nothing's the matter. I'm doing my best to be my best. I don't know. So. My wife hates it when I say that. She's like, I want you to give me a real answer. I'm like, that is my real answer. Um, yeah, I usually don't allow be fine best. because I know in Jay's world, fine could mean all hell is breaking loose. Yeah. And he will still say he's fine. So you, you have I to speak it into existence. I generally don't allow fine. Like, yeah. I don't, like really. Give me a real answer. What's going on? Yeah. So, anyway, um, happy anniversary, Shane. Happy anniversary. It's our anniversary. I know. It's our anniversary, Shane. I know, right? Oh my God. It's so crazy. A friend of mine, a good friend from college, he said, man, I thought you guys do a couple episodes. Are <laughs> <laughs> y'all right, still up. doing that shit? God damn. I got a clip by now. <laughs> Congratulations on sticking it through. Oh, my gosh. Y'all really yeah. trying to do this thing, huh? Yeah, like well, you're really trying doing. to. Yeah, you're trying to get to a million YouTube. You really subscribers. Like, oh my gosh! Yeah, I funny. thought that was so funny. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. And he's he said he says that we're funny. He says he says he listens. He most of the time he listens. But what did he say? He says sometimes. I mean, I just don't know about the subject. I'm like, you just learn something new. Then you don't have to be looking for a job. Or he's and he's retired, but he's working. He's consulting, yeah. dude. You. People are experiencing these things, but he did say he did. He listened to our, um, I guess it was the last podcast where we talked about pretty privilege. And he said he was screaming at the, <laughs> at his phone when you said, have you never been given anything? Cause you're pretty. And I was like, no, it's cause I'm nice. He was like, lies. Yes, she is. And I'm like, no, I haven't. Yeah. So, but I wasn't that nice that back when I was in school. So. Oh, that means you were definitely yeah. giving a lot of shit. Cause, oh, jeez. Like, niggas, oh, yeah, a little stuck-up attitude. Uh, niggas definitely trying to fuck. I didn't have a stuck-up attitude. I just wasn't that, I just wasn't well, that nice. Well, an attractive woman who is not nice is going to be deemed stuck-up. Because what else What else are you going to call her? You know, like, there's only, but, there's, only but a few, there's only but a few words that can, uh, that can describe an attractive woman who is... Of a bad attitude. But do people still say stuck up? Do the kids know what that means? If I said, you know what I mean? What do, the, what do they use now? I mean, I don't know. I would assume stuck up. Or bougie. Bougie. They'd be like, yeah. Would they say bougie? bougie? Yeah. Okay. I would think bougie sounds like something that the, that the kids with the riz like to say. But would they? I don't know. Yeah, because they, 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 they just reject all of our words. Hi, Costa Diddy. Diddy. The other day I said... Dilly dallying to Ariel, she thought that was <laughs> hilarious. She was like, Dilly dallying, she probably won't take her back to school. She was like, Yeah, Yo, look at this word that <laughs> I heard like, from this old time. Like, dilly dallying, <laughs> dilly dallying. <laughs> These birds just stay off my deck. What's wrong with the big tree outside? Sorry, I might keep sorry, I keep looking to the left because they are keep flying over here. <gasps> trying to, oh, they are making me mad. I need to throw something at the window. Um. One of my but good friends I that I recently reconnected with, she was listening to our podcast. She was just like, you guys have the perfect podcast for someone with ADHD. You guys start <laughs> off on one subject. <laughs> she was like, you start off on one subject, and then you just go down rabbit holes. <gasps> then you'll just come right back to the subject out of nowhere. Like, that is so funny. That is so funny. Do you think, do we have ADHD? I mean, I know I do. Do you? Do I? Oh, I mean, I've had it since like third grade. Well, do I have it? Yeah, you do. Remember I last did. time we were talking and you started and talking saw about the birds? Yeah. Well, because I saw the bird. I saw it was blue. It was but you so were like pretty. in the middle of your sentence. You were like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> but is it if you get distracted by things, that means you have ADHD? That's what the doctors say. Oh, I thought Easily it was. Easily distracted. And then mm. they added the hyperactivity thing onto it also, or whatever. Mm. When I was coming up, I just had ADD, attention deficit disorder. And then right, because they didn't have, yeah, school, then they, they added yeah, the they didn't have the, it. Yeah. They added the H when I was in college. Yeah. Because I was a psychology major. And so okay. I would volunteer and um, at this one school. Well, I guess it was, it was a 
How did I, I not know. know you were a psychology major? Well, well because I changed it. Oh, okay. But, hmm. Yeah. Um, I wanted to be a psychologist at one point. It makes sense. I can see. It. Yeah, they. I think I was. I was helping out with a with a one of the. It was a, a Pitts campus, like there's you know lots of hospitals and stuff, and I was doing something yeah. with one of the programs there, and they they took care of kids, um, or they the, they treated kids that had AD, AD, They called it like you said ADD, and then then they were talking about adding the hyperactivity, um, the HD part to it. Onto it. But there was a lot of a lot of the kids. I look. I went through their files and stuff. I guess now HIPAA. And it was alcoholism was in their families. You wonder so they were kind of the root. They it. were saying that you know back then, they were trying to say the root cause was um, alcoholism. Alcoholism. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I don't. I don't mm. think either one of my parents were alcoholics. I'm sure yours weren't either. I don't know. No. 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 And Jackson yeah. has the HD part. Really, so. but not the mm-hmm. attention part. Mm-hmm. So they get oh, they separated it out now. Mm-hmm. He just got tested in the fall. He yeah. So, so what's the prescription for that? I don't know. No, oh, I was on Ritalin for a while. He's not taking anything. College. I'm like, yeah. dude, if you if you manage school all these years, then. But then, you know what kills me about the hyperactivity part? They you say all these kids are hyperactive, mm-hmm. but they took away recess, which was a way for kids to burn off their energy. Mm-hmm. So all these kids who can. Who had an hour every day to kind of burn off fucking energy. Now mm-hmm. they can. And now all of a sudden there's this outbreak of hyperactivity in the classroom. Well, you wonder why you force this little ball of energy well, to sit still for eight hours. And in our school district, they didn't, but it was always up to the teachers. Sometimes it was up to the teachers. And when Jay was in the fourth grade, like we never had any problems. Teachers never wanted to talk to us or, yeah. and this one teacher just kept having issues with Jay. And she's like, he'll get up and go across the room and sharpen his pencil. Okay, and who was friend Sam sat by the pencil sharpener, Makes sense. and he would come up and complain that um she would say like they got the iPads that year, so fourth grade he's what nine, and um he's twenty two now just to give you an idea, and and um and he she would say show of hands who wants to go outside for recess, and all the girls would say they want to stay in to be on their iPads, and the boys want to go outside and play, so she wasn't letting them play. Oh, that's crazy. And then um so he was like the normal ray of of recess <laughs> yeah and then they took part of the playground and made it and like put swing sets he said don't you donate one red dime <laughs> to that playground <laughs> he's like i forbid it we mm. like to play football we don't need swings we're we're in the yeah. fourth grade we don't want any swings i'm just trying to play man i think just some things you, boys got burn energy Boys mm-hmm. got to, everybody got to burn energy. Boys and My dog I mean, has burn energy. Yeah, like you can't. He's a boy, though. I don't know any human, any adult who sits at their desk, whether you work at home or you work in the office for eight hours a day. You know, and that's what we expect kids to do. Sit at their desk, get in the line, go to the bathroom, go back to their desk, get in the line, go sit down in the cafeteria, get mm-hmm. in the line, go back to the bathroom, get in the line, then go back to their desk and sit down for eight hours a day. If you can do that, then you've mastered school and you're a great student. Right. Who the fuck does that? And like yeah. adults walk around to the fucking kitchen and the coffee machine. Right. If you're if yeah. you were in yeah. an office, man, My God, I you run the office. Desk? You I, yeah, I always like, hey, so what's going on? But somehow we don't expect we don't we think the kids should have more self control than grown yeah, adults. No. It doesn't make any uh-uh. sense. It doesn't. No. And then if Even they don't though, then you yesterday, right I did I sat a lot yesterday. My husband and I basically, other than him going to the gym and walking the dog, taking the dog to the dog park in the morning. I slept in. We got, we just sat and he was either on the bed and I was in the chair or at one point I went downstairs because a friend came to pick up his daughter and then he was in the chair. Errol said, that was weird. Dad's in your chair. <laughs> but we, at some point we couldn't see each other because I was folding, clo- folding clothes. They were on the bed. So we were just talking. We couldn't even see each other. How much but we, clothes did you have? They were sheets. They were sheets. Well, how high? I was in the, I was in a chair. The chair is lower than the bed. The bed, our bed's high. Yeah. And then on the corner of the bed, I'm going to keep looking. Um, On the corner of the bed, the sheets were, it was like bedding. It was like sheets and towels. They were just filed. That I kind of did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Line of demarcation. I would say, are you awake? Like, so before I go to say something, mm. are, are you awake? And he's like, yes. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but we, Damn had, it. we had good conversations yesterday. Like, just. Mm. Just little, you know, just chit chat. Just, just chit chat. Chit chit chat. Sometimes chit chat is good. You don't always want to have a heavy, heavy conversation. Well, you have to have. I read it, so I'm doing this seven day Bible app thing about communication in marriage, mm-hmm. 
And it said that today's the first day and it says small talk leads to big talk. You can't have big talk without small talk. You have to be used to a comp, you know, used to um, having small talk before you can have right. big talk. You can't just be like, I never talked to you. And it's like, hey, so. Uh, <laughs> so let's talk think about, about this mortgage. Yeah. Yeah. Let, yeah. Or how about we sell our house and go live on the off the land or. Right. Or this isn't working or whatever. You can't just. Yeah. That's yeah. those past the salt moments. Past the salt. Yeah, the past assault moments where you just randomly just blurt out something like, oh, fuck. You be like, can you pass me the salt? And then you be like, man, fuck you in the salt. Man, I want a divorce. That is <laughs> so funny. <laughs> a past assault moment. Past the salt moment. That's like, oh, no, the past assault moment. Like when when the, the couple, they're elderly and for every day or for their milk drinking lives, the husband always left just a tiny a swallow of milk and then the last then that one day she snaps yeah that's her moment you know I, mean? I mean literally is that past the salt yeah that's past the salt moment okay. either she snaps and kills him or she snaps and cusses him the fuck out yeah throws the um, milk at him you know what i mean just like i i watched um <laughs> i don't you normally watch 911 but do you watch angela bass in it i used to watch it so heavy but then they started making it what's funny here's how trish you and i are so linked as I was coming back from the orthodontist this morning with my daughter, mm -hmm. there was a billboard for 911 on the okay. interstate. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I used to really enjoy that show. Mm -hmm. And then here you go bring that. But I stopped watching it because around season two-ish, they mm -hmm. started making it like the Jennifer Love Hewitt show. It was oh. all about Jennifer Love Hewitt. Okay. And I'm like, she ain't even the highest paid person on this fucking show. Who's the highest paid? Angela, Angela Bassett. Okay. She's the highest paid person on TV right now. She gets like 500 and change, $500,000 an episode. In oh, okay. Right? And I'm like, why are we concentrating on this woman so much? And mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, here we go. They're trying to transition the show to this white woman when the show was about Angela Bassett. Yeah, she is the star. Did hey, Rob Lowe show. used to be on this show? Rob Lowe has his own. He has 911 Texas. Oh, that's different. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. So did it the 911 Texas, and that one is for the super woke folks. Like they got like you know whole like transgender cast on that one. They have oh really a whole bunch okay. of different things going on in that one. So that's one's for the more you know Gen Alpha, Gen Z, super woke folks. They should enjoy that one. Um, the regular 911 is pretty mainstream in mean, everything that they're doing. Is that but the one? They, that's the one. That's the one with Angela Bass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was this it was this couple, right? They were mm -hmm. older, They'd probably been married 20 million years. And he sat, he had this chair. And so he was just sitting in his chair trying to watch his show. And whatever was happening, it was like the good part. Yeah. And she's running the vacuum. Oh, shit. And she's running the vacuum all around him and, try, and trying to vacuum the chair. He's like, what are you doing? She's like, I hate this chair. It doesn't go with anything in here. And just harass the man. He, I was like, he's great. <laughs> he getting ready to snap. He's getting ready to pass the salt moment. And then the in the show, uh, a fighter pilot lost his plane, and then next thing you know, the plane's coming to their house. <laughs> Yo, now I want to have the craziest <laughs> shit be occurring on that show, man. They had one yeah. where like a whole bunch of animals escaped from the zoo and was like running around through the city, or they had like a big like like typhoon come through, like it, like some wild shit was on um on that show. But yeah, I actually was like, I wish I could get back into it, but you know. But you can't. I can't now because you lost me. You lost me when you took like five or six episodes and made it all about Jennifer Love Hewitt. And like it wasn't about her. The show was about Angela Bassett mm -hmm. and her life. Is the show about Angela Bassett? Man, that's how it started off. It was about her. She's like, she's the cop. She's the more senior person. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of like even stuff that happened in the fire department, she would end up being the police officer on site. Or whatever, okay. and like stuff going on on the police side, she would call the fire department. So even though there was characters from all okay. other aspects mm -hmm. of the rescuing community, mm -hmm. it was still kind of centered around her. Okay. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Like they made her husband. Her husband left her in the first like season because he turned he gay. He was gay. All of a sudden, well, turned yeah. gay or was gay? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. He, he was... came out. He came out after they already had two kids or whatever. And then. Then she ended up getting with the white fire chief or whatever. They made it from really six spicy. feet under. Yeah, they made it spicy, but then they started transitioning away from her to other people's storyline. Oh, okay. Not like that. So you know. Well, like it's you said, moved I got to ABC, hours. and I I recorded it. I didn't finish it. I think I fell asleep on it, but um, because I will catch it 
like in bits and pieces. But so now it's recording on YouTube TV. Yeah, I got excited over and, the weekend because um, yeah. I saw like all of my shows have come back now after that big hiatus. So, oh, like, like what? Good Doctor came back. Oh, I don't watch that. Um, okay. What else has come back on? Uh, there is a show called The Rookie on ABC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Love The Rookie. All the Chicago's are back now. Chicago Med, Chicago PD. Okay. Chicago Fire. Fucking fantastic. All the Law & Order SVUs are back All now. All the Law & Orders are back. Love it. Love um, it. They canceled. HBO can I'm, Did you ever watch Southside with the black dude from Chicago PD? No, you kept telling me to watch Southside. Well, it's been canceled. It. Oh, fuck. But it, there's quote. still three seasons. It is, you, it's knee-slapping funny. I'm telling you, it is I can't that picture guy, my man Kev from Chicago so PD being funny. funny. Like he's so serious. He's in dry. PD. Oh, he's but he's dry. Yeah. In the show, but he's hilarious. Dry humor. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that show's so stupid. I can't believe it was canceled. HBO is like I'm gonna cancel HBO. Listen, HBO is doing what everybody else did. They yeah, they're like driving love. like Fox right now. Yeah, yeah. HBO was like, okay, cool. We're gonna give all these black producers and directors shows. And then there was like, oh, the diversity wave is over. Let's start mm-hmm. canceling them. Because Issa yep. Rae, all her shows getting canceled. Yeah, rap them, shit was canceled. Even though I, oh I couldn't God, get into I, it because I was, I think I'm too was too old for it. I love rap um, shit. And then I, the Black Lady Sketch Show. Black Lady Sketch Show is gone. Yep. Oh my gosh. And What's now the, Southside. Mm-mm. Um. Nope. There I'm was. Done. There's just a been a. A whitewashing of TV yeah. programming. Yeah. Like, like, do oh, we, we not watch TV? We watch let's, TV, right? Let's get it back to normal. Yeah. <gasps> hey, Shane. Mm-hmm. I have my fan. I told her I was hot the other day. She said, I have a fan. I said, oh, where is it? <laughs> oh, a fan fan. Look at you. You look like you could be at a Trump rally with that. You just got a good little I know, make America great again at the when bottom. You see, I know, but is that something when you see the flag, that's what you think? Like, no, no. It's just no, too, no. it's so much red on there. You see all that red, you be like, oh, that's yeah, there's a lot of red. All that red in the American flag screens. Uh, Trump. Yeah, anyway. He is he is taking Mm-mm, over that. We're not color. talking about him. Nope. This is a happy day. Um, who are we? <laughs> who are we? We are <laughs> We are we used to be black folk in America, just trying to make it day by day. But besides that, we are two seasoned, uncensored corporate veterans who are here another year to pass along the wisdom we receive from lessons learned, from mistakes made, and hopes that you don't make the same mistakes that we do. And if you do decide to make these mistakes, if you decide that mistake making is the thing that you want to do today, well, you know, we're here to laugh with you, not at you, because. At the end of the day, it's all a choice. And you're it's all a choice, out. and sometimes you don't. You're like, I don't, I don't believe them. They don't know. What do they know? Exactly. Yeah. No, you, know, you don't have own. to. Just you know. Yeah, a hard head make a soft ass. That's what the. I know. And, the and, but why is that? Because I said that last week. But what? Why? Why does it? Why does it do that? Because you know, wisdom comes not from. But no, if you think of it in a literal people. sense, why does a hard head make it for a soft ass? Because it goes oh, soft literally. from what? Yeah. From getting your ass kicked. Does make that makes it beaten. soft? Oh, you're right. Because in right. reality, if you keep getting beat on your ass, it hardens it up yeah. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that make it hard. So I don't understand. Well, not initially, yeah. right? In, in the midst of the ass cutting. It'd be tender. It's tender and soft. Okay. And then it hardens afterwards. All right. Yeah. Okay. So a hard head makes you get your ass beat. And while you're getting your ass beat, your ass is soft. Jeez. Okay. And now you know, people, why a now hard you know. makes a soft ass. Now and yeah, the more you know. So the more so you fun. know, a little <laughs> little thing go across the screen. The more you, yeah, with the star. The shit. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Um. So today, today is our second. It's our second anniversary, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Second. Anniversary. Right. Second yeah. anniversary. Yeah. And so. What grade would you give yourself? I mean, I think initially it was kind of shaky, but I think now I'm trending on a strong B uh-huh. as a podcast host. I think I'm definitely like an A minus as a video editor. Okay, you know, a, uh, definitely a content I'm creator. So you know what I'm saying? I'm so glad I have you because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> not, man, I couldn't even edit in. Anchor. I'm like, oh, like, I had I no idea. Like, I had oh this my set. gosh. 
now you should see me when I'm editing. It is like I feel like I'm a You're DJ. Like in the lab. Right? Yeah, You're I'm just mixing and moving. Ah! You know what I'm saying? So funny. it is great. But yeah, what what grade would you give yourself in your two years? Um, I guess probably a B. I would give you an A as a as a, a, a as an editor and as a as a podcaster. Um, I'd probably give myself a B. Really? Um, yeah. But I think that we, I give like, to, I think together we're a good team though. I look, when I listen back to our shows, mm-hmm. I always am jealous of your uh, enunciation and how clear you come across. And because really? I always find myself mumbling, or it seems like it, I'm mumbling at times. I feel and like so, I mumble too. And I'm like, I got to be more like Trish. And so this show has been great for me in learning like clear enunciation and making sure that I, open my mouth when I am talking. So that my, is so funny because I always feel like I'm like I um like like I have a list for something. I, I don't want but I much prefer like to listen to the podcast than to watch, than it. watch it. Like I listen and I laugh. Right. If I watch it, I'm like, oh what's wrong with my hair? You know what I mean? So while I'm editing, I'll be like, uh, like I will start laughing <laughs> at some of the stuff. Or, yeah. <laughs> and uh Christian will be like, oh you really think you funny, huh? That is <laughs> I'm like, so you know, this shit funny. is hilarious. And don't let me, <laughs> don't let me be editing while I'm on an edible. Oh my god, I'll be dying. Just that is absolutely so dying. funny. That is absolutely so funny. Dying. Yeah. No, there's funny things. Um. Oh man, you know what? Let's talk about. So, you know, okay. So we've been doing this for two years. We haven't been doing. We. I don't know when the anniversaries are of our. Of the video, I have to check to see when that is. This is the anniversary of the actual podcast on Anchor and Spotify. Yeah. I don't remember. I'll have to look to see when we did our first YouTube video because that's a different um, anniversary. But how do people like people who are really influencers? How do they handle the comment section? Like, can you can you guys you real? All right. So our first YouTube video is actually coming up. <laughs> Our first YouTube video was April 10th. Oh, was it? Okay. Oh, so what's so, so we it's did kind of close. Yeah, we okay. did a couple. We did a couple on here and then we transitioned over to YouTube like a month after we started doing it. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, because I remember what are you you have a lighter? Yeah, you can hear you can hear the yes. zippo. Yes, why are you doing that? I, I'm a I'm a fire bug. Loki, I love fire. So I don't even use uh like I don't use the air freshener when i when I'm like finished taking the shit. I like will roll up toilet paper and light the toilet paper on fire and then like wave the toilet paper around in the bathroom and then let it get really close to my fingers as it burns and then burns and then like blows it out. Some days when I'm feeling especially soprano-ish, if I've been on a soprano kick lately, I'll drop the fire in my hand like I'm fucking like, you know, taking an oath into the mob. <laughs> and then I'll drop it in the toilet or whatever. Yeah, you know, I like fire. Fires. I'm Fires, sorry, I asked. Friend. I will not ask. Ask, ask, and I, I will, will not answer. ask again. So if I will. Yeah, that's what I get. That's what I get. <laughs> so anyway, back to the do people. How do people handle the comment section? With a grain of salt. No, you got. Do you it. not? You do you just not look at them? Do they? Do they? Like, what's the what's the what's the right answer? I mean, this is all rhetorical, unless somebody who's out there right. wants to respond. But what? What's the right balance? Because I think it depends on who you are. Okay. You know, like for me, you know, these comments, like these last couple comments, last they couple fuel you. Folks have, been, folks have been going hard at the kid. But I know. That's... I find it, I find it comical because in my mind, I'm like, you don't even know me. I know. You don't even know who I am, and you're making these comments, and I think it's hilarious. I'm like, you're so awesome. Did you base. see? Did you see where Monica posted a picture of her and her new boyfriend? Mm-mm. And somebody was like, these people, these famous people, they don't wait. Let let their cat air out. They put a picture of a cat. And she was like, first of all, it's been however many years or whatever since she's dated somebody. And she was like, and her cat is aired out. And ain't none of their MF in business anyway. Like, you talking about Monica Singer, Monica? Monica the Singer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got the right one. She's going she yeah, to go back at them in the yeah. comments. So, yeah. But I don't want to. Well, I mean. How I don't do want to go back and forth with those people. I I find it like that one that the one, the one where we talked about just being left alone. Yeah. For, 
integration. Mm-hmm. How can anybody have a problem with that? Like how, if it doesn't affect you, if it's not about you, if it's not your opinion, like you want, you got an opinion, go get your own podcast. No, they come on ours and Why make you, assumptions about our lives. I know, but how can you have a, how can you have a, how can you have a, a thought or an opinion about what somebody else thinks? People always and have. And how, how are we mm-hmm. raised and how, yeah. Uh, I don't right. think this is, I don't think this is new to this generation. I just think the it's access not. is new because oh. we've all had nosy neighbors. You know, we used to have nosy neighbors back mm-hmm. in the day. Where we'd have people the gossip mill, you know, in small towns where people would always be talking about other people, what's going on, yeah. or so it's always occurred. But now you can do it anonymously from the from a keyboard, right? Which is like just even more fueling, right? And I think that's just even created a like super Karens and super Kevins in this world or whatever. Now they feel even more empowered, and then sometimes those Karens and Kevins. <laughs> take it outside the keyboard and that's where we have these real life interactions with these karen and kevin's because they think that the stuff that they do on the keyboard where they just give their opinion unsolicited can be translated out into the real world and it's like no there are people out there that really need to take a pill like literally get find a pill whatever that pill is yeah there was a lady she she vote she she must a have lady. A, a, lady. a lady there was a lady <laughs> <laughs> a lady she posted a picture, like a video. Her her dog, her husky, was like the baby was in the bath and the baby was crying. And there she yeah. she had a camera in there, and the husky was like, "Oh, oh my gosh, my brother's crying." You know what I mean? Like kind of yeah. like, "What do I do?" <laughs> and so she posted because she thought it was cute. This woman went in on her. Why don't you be a mother and go see about your baby? Like, oh my gosh! And then the comment section just goes wild. Like, just they turn then they. Somebody comes to that person's behalf and they, oh my, how can you? That's wow. My mother, it's so funny because when my mother would go pick the kids up from school when they were younger, if I was busy or whatever, she'd say, oh my gosh, you're such a pretender. And I call my kids pretenders. Oh, you're, uh, Trish is so nice. She's so this, <laughs> she's so that. They're like, you, my mom was like, you don't really know her. She's like, why do those people think you're nice? That's because they're strangers for the most part. Who's not nice to strangers? Assholes. Who's not nice? Such are people that you don't know. People that didn't do anything to you. How can yeah. you not be nice to them? Because you're an asshole. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much that. That's how you know you. That's how you get the title of an asshole. One of the ways, <laughs> I guess, is when you're just a dick to strangers for no reason. Yeah, like, that's weird. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Or whatever. You know. So you have yeah. them, and then, uh, then you also have people who make you. You know, they they force you to be an asshole. You know, it's like you can be nice to a stranger. <laughs> you know, you're being nice to a stranger. Like you hold the door for them and they don't say yeah, thank you. Yeah, and, and then, then you... they'll like just walk <laughs> and, past you. Then, then you no, I like when there's two doors. Like fall. you got like the first one, you got me right. I left yep. it to hold the door open for you. And you didn't say thank you. The second one, the door, I'm not holding. Yeah, no, nah, right. I'm, I'm actually not nice. Though, the door closed. Though. I know, but that's not nice because you don't do not. You shouldn't do nice things. The nice things can be done for you, but you want to be appreciated. But you should just do it out of the kindness of your heart. So, you know what. Christian and I would talk about that the other day, right? So one of her things for me was to be softer with her hmm. and be more gentle and be like, just treat her like a delicate little flower. Oh, that's and, nice. Right. And so I've been doing that, right? I've been doing, okay. I've been in full on like gentle. Does that mean just be more romantic? Mode. No, um, I think just no, just she just literally just means just be nicer and softer and all that stuff, okay. And so, you know, I've been doing that what because that's like, nice, and, it's nice when people are right. Like, and then she was like, Hey, I hope that you're not just doing this to have because I asked, sex. Right. oh, oh, right. Okay. I hope that you're doing this. Because you want because to. you generally want to and no, that. you're doing it because she want because she wants you to. Right. And so it's like, what is what's the right what answer is to that? The right <laughs> answer, right? Because I do want more sex. Of course. Who doesn't want more sex? And then also, but, but I also am quid, doing this. Is it a is night. it a quid pro quo? I think that's what she was wanting to make sure that it's but does not it matter? But does, quo quo. does it matter? In her mind, it matters. Oh, okay. Then and you so tell then, her you what know, she needs to hear. That's, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she watches, so sorry. She doesn't anymore. I was telling her the other day. 
<laughs> I'm like, yo, you were one of our biggest fans biggest for like the fans? first year. For like the first year, you were watching. She's this already and bored with us. And then she was like, you know, she like, I'll start, and then like, I just can't finish it, and then I'll move on to something else or whatever. And so, okay, you know, so I'm like you now. I have the freedom to kind of talk how I want to because she's not listening. You mm. know, it's quite freeing actually. Well, until the one I, day that she does. And hopefully it'll but be. But it sounds like she won't listen to the whole thing. Maybe she just watches the short. Exactly. You know, she definitely watches the short. She likes all the shorts. So since I edit the short, so I'll make sure this is not on there. There we go. Okay. So funny. Yeah, that's a good, that, that brings up a good thing. Like, do you do, like, do you do things to get things? Like, what's your, yeah. But if somebody asks you, like, if, like, um, my husband, he, he texts me every morning. Cause we use, he, he's, you know, I'm asleep when he leaves. So he texts me when he gets to the office and one day he didn't text me. And I was like, oh man, your streak is broken. He's no, it's not, I still have time. <laughs> it was like nine 30 or something, but do you, it takes what 30 days for something to become a habit. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think initially you do things because someone asks you to do them. There's not, and yeah. that's not, there's, not, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing something because someone asks you, you don't have to. Like, oh, this is Especially like I can't wait. Partner. I can't wait to do this, but yeah, you yeah. If you're in a partnership with someone and your partner expresses a need to you, I think that if you're in a truly, you know, synergistic partnership, mm-hmm. then you want to fulfill that need for your partner. You know, you yeah. want you want your partner to feel like they can come to you for a need and you can fulfill it. And even if it's not your jam, if it's not your bag if it's not your thing that you would normally think to do for your partner but if this is what your partner wants then it's like all right cool like if it's not putting my life in danger then i can figure out how to enjoy this enjoy giving this to you should right I say. you know what i mean like even if it's not my thing i can figure out how i can enjoy giving you this whatever the case may be whatever so i enjoy giving her and making her happy you enjoy making her happy yeah, exactly. right who doesn't who wouldn't want to make somebody happy right some people don't oh well i mean i know i say that i always some say that don't. and that that annoys that yeah. annoys people when i say who like because i'm not as if everyone there's plenty of people because there's, yeah, plenty, there's people plenty of people who so. are genuinely assholes and who don't care about their partner or who don't really care about, or they're narcissistic and they don't care about anything but themselves. Mm-hmm. Whatever, everything is about what you can do for me, not necessarily what I can do for you. Whatever, what I can do for you is definitely at the far end of the spectrum when you talk about narcissism or whatever. So, you know, that's why the American what psychology folks mm-hmm. have these designations of these sociopath and narcissists <laughs> <laughs> or whatnot. We went to the movies the other day. To see Cabrini, it's about a nun at the turn of the century, not turn of the the turn of the twentieth century. Okay, she came from Italy um, to help the impoverished here. You know, during they were the last wave, the last wave, or at that time, the last latest wave of immigrants. And you know how they how badly treated Italians, like they were black folk. And um, no, it was that's not true. They, I mean, they they weren't enslaved, but they called exactly. them monkeys. They said they were, had lesser, yeah. you know, cognitive abilities and stuff like that. But I mean, they weren't they, enslaved. They weren't enslaved. No, they were not enslaved. And but they let them die, in the, and they let them die in the street. So they didn't. They were like, "Go live on the street. We don't care." I mean, uh, it's awful. Anyway, um, so we we talked. We parked at the top of a parking lot, which is outside, and we like, went down some steps to get to the. You know, versus having to go all the way around and but there was a huge puddle and i had on sandals because it was really warm and so i was like oh man it was it was kind of deep and i was like i can't it was too much for me to jump over so i was like here he came back he came back to get me <laughs> he's like, you're getting my back <laughs> that's what's up that's I cute i was like that's okay you didn't like, get on his back because he'd already splashed my foot with the wires so my foot already got wet so i kind of i just did the heel tip-toe. thing oh, the heel I, heel. no not tipped i did the heel <laughs> and he helped me <laughs> You should have got on his back. That'd have been like no. so cute. Yeah, I don't want to get him back. wet. Like, geez, like, oh, like, thanks anyway. But I was very. Shipping. That was sweet. Oh. I'm really <laughs> distracted by your hair today. It is giving. You are like. Oh, thank you. You know, I your tried hair something is new. Doing the most, yes. I, I tried see something it. new. My stylist was so happy. I said, "Marion, we're going to. I'm going to do a side party." He was like, "What?" 
I see yes, I want to curl it. He's like, I almost let him cut it. So he was so he was so excited. And then yeah, my Leonard, you know, you know, Leonard. Leonard was like, mm-hmm. oh, we we're on a call. He's like, your hair is beautiful. I was like, thank you. So yeah. Um, and then Arrow got her braids on. She she got her hair blow dry and curled, but she ended up getting two braids three days later because she's she ain't about that life. Keep like up. uh she did like just uh just two cornrows going back. Cornrows going back. Mm-hmm. I love yeah, cornrows. She's, she's gonna restart her natural hair journey, like with like straw sets or you know, just yeah. stuff like that. But she's yeah, anyway. And that was my favorite hair starter request of my daughter when my wife was doing it. Can we get some cornrows, please? So I love just funny. the straight back cornrows. Those joints is fire. Whatever. Yep, yep, yep. So, so what else? We were just, yeah, we're just freestyling it today. What else? What what thing has been burning? What what something that's just been like on your oh, brain? Man. Uh, a desire to get on a beach for about a week. I need a week on a beach with lots of bottomless alcoholic drinks. <laughs> and I know and like, like a nice a nice 77 77 with no humidity for about 1 week would be Seven, on the beach? 77 is that cold? No, no. 77 oh. is 77 is just right. A bright sun 77, maybe 80, no humidity. You need to go to Ibiza. Well, you need to, that's Ibiza like in May because it's closer. I think it's what closer to the equator, right? So the sun is hot, but it's not humid. But when the sun goes down, then it's chilly. I want to start visiting some of these beaches in Africa. Some of these pictures actually, some of these beaches in Africa are absolutely um, breathless. The Seychelles last September, September, not. 23 but 22. I don't know why we didn't go. So pretty. I need a vacation too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause my I'm child. See that from... Huh? No, go ahead. You're saying your child's always on vacation? Well, he makes sure he takes a good, he always gets a good spring break. So he definitely does. I that he does yeah. his thing. But yeah, I want to see black folks vacation more in Africa. Like I want to see more black folks were like, oh, I went to here, went there, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Really you know what, though? The people people probably are going, they're just probably like uber wealthy, probably. They go. But it doesn't make sense. So I can't imagine it costs more to fly to Africa than it does to it does. Paris or it does. fucking Italy. It does. Yeah, we were going to fly non rev. But really? yeah, it's expensive. Hmm. So, but you just gotta put your yeah. People go on safari, so you just gotta. Yeah. I want Delta to Delta vacations. You can pay over time. Yeah, build. Yep, pay it off until it goes out. I want to do a real safari with fucking lions nearby and <laughs> See, I don't zebras in Africa. I don't want to go on a safari, but I yeah, I don't I don't want to go on a safari. Yeah, Christian said she'll go to Africa with me, but then I'll go on a safari by myself. I'm um, like, bro, why are we going to, if you, we going to be there, let's go be there. She's like, you can be there. Just, and I hope you make it back to me. Or, yeah. I know. don't want to, um, I don't want to necessarily be in a safari. Oh, did you hear about what happened to Jennifer Lewis? The, the black mother of Hollywood. Mm-mm, I'm her. She was on safari months ago. And she, like she said, they didn't give her a tour of the, you know, of, of the, the building or the hotel, yeah. wherever you know, it wasn't necessarily a hotel, like the villa or whatever. Yeah. So you know, you turn the lights out in Africa, out in the wild, and the lights are out. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was in in her room, and she had a like a plunge pool, mm-hmm. and she went out. She's you know she went out there. Next thing you know, she had fallen like ten feet. There was like a a gap. Where there was no railing and she couldn't see, she thought she was going to die there. Is that not crazy? Did she, she break she anything? Barely, yes, she broke. Like she broke a bunch of stuff, and she said she could barely move. She thought she was going to die. There was like a wildebeest nearby. <laughs> um, she she mustered up the strength to 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 yell out, and her friend heard her, but she kept it a secret. She was on Robin Roberts just interviewed her last week. She didn't say anything until after she was better because she was like. She didn't want, you know what I mean? She's like, I don't, how she kept it a secret, I have no idea how they kept it. She seems like the type that her circle is pretty tight-knit. 
Like Jennifer Lewis ain't having just random people around her. Right. Or like yeah, her circle. Even the at the hotel, but they probably didn't, wouldn't want it to. At the exactly. Villa, they they, they fucked up either. Jennifer Lewis. Yeah. And her circle is super tight knit. They ain't going to talk about it. Oh, shit. What? Speaking of tight knit shit. What? Have you been hearing all what? this shit about Kate Middleton? What? That is, how are we this? That is so funny. I was going to say, like, what up? Like, where? where is Kate? And I Googled today and I don't like, I'm not, I don't like messy, but I Googled cause I don't, when I hear the stuff, like he, he cheated on her, but I'm like, I, I no, just kind of ignore like, it. It's better than that. Like, this but, is missing. Like, but they just, they, they saw, they had a picture of her last week going somewhere. They saying the Monday. CGI. That picture. No, 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 not the yeah. picture with the kids. The picture with the kids is, is not the picture with the kids. Yeah. But there was an actual picture of her and the, that somebody took in the car last Monday. And they show us her because everyone's saying like mm-hmm. we ain't seen her, her in fucking her, months. She, she has her face kind of turned, but they're going to some women's um some women's uh, everything months. I'm saying is saying I that know. she might be yeah you know, in the no. mental hospital. No, 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 no. They're what they're saying, saying what, what or... the what they're really saying is that she's like, You you messed around on me and I'm not doing my duties. Like she is withdrawn from her duties. Wait, wait, he messed around on her. That's the that's that's the scuttlebutt. They've they've been oh. saying that for months that he cheated on her with a friend, of the like a friend of his. Somebody I mean, came but to their he's wedding. The king. What he's the not fuck? the king. But you think you you Basically. think more of him, right? And the she I was no, well. Saying. I mean, you don't. But I mean, royal family shit. You know what I mean? Like it's like marrying a professional player. What you expect? Yes, yeah, so that's the scuttlebutt, and that she was like bet, and then just was like, I'm I'm not doing my royal duties. So that's what they're. Well, there's they're saying a lot of everything, but that's that's um the thought too that she's like I'm not I'm not doing this. Like I'm disappointed that he would be so sloppy as to get caught. I'm d- mm-hmm. I, if he did, I'm so disappointed that he did it with a friend. I am not surprised he did it with a friend, being the fact that he's grown up in the most entitled way he can grow up in life. So someone like him would make me feel that he feels he's entitled to whatever he wants. And really? so he's, I don't know. I just see the Diana in him. So no, I, I see know. the Diana in his brother. What do you mean? Like the Diana is his low bro who's bucking all the rules, went to join the military. Yeah. Like both Diana, in the military. That's that's not bucking the rules, that's their duty. No, 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 no. He did like the one who's married to Kate. What's his name? Harry. I mean, Harry. No, 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 Harry's married to Megan. Harry's the redhead with Megan. William is married to Kate. William, yeah, William did like the royal military, the cute yeah. military. Harry did the real ass military where he was actually fighting, running off, fighting in helicopters. Like, Harry was really didn't in the military. William do William was on some life? cute, like, uniform oh. shit. Nah, nah, okay. William didn't really do no fucking military shit. Okay. He was just, yeah, <laughs> nah, you know, like, Harry actually did military, military, right? So, <laughs> William strikes me as definitely I can have what I want. And really, um, I would be more shocked if Harry ever did hey. anything. That would shock me. Well, Harry sold all his oats when he was, he, here's how I see them. Like, William is like, I am in line for the throne. I have to be on my, you know, P's and Q's. Right. He's the one that did everything right. Exactly. He followed, he's a rule follower. Mm-hmm. Harry was the hell, he was, he raised hell. Yeah. So he did it before he got married. And now that he's he's found the love of his life, he's like, I'm and that's good. why I'm not surprised about William because William oh. gives me that Tiger Woods thing where Tiger Woods was the black the black face of golf and he had to look mm-hmm. presentable, but he had his dark side in which he was sowing all his royal oats, you know. On well, the his low. father was a was a philanderer. Too, oh yeah, his so. father set the example or whatever, mm-hmm. and so like he you, saw as a young kid saw his father with women. And you don't think that William saw his father running through women? I don't know. Well, he, well, there was just what's her name, the one he married. Like you he, think so? Well, I'm just you, saying. Exactly. He loved her. I mean, that's who he loved, and he was forced to marry Diana. You think so? Mm. I mean, you don't think so? I, I don't know. No, I don't. I watched watch the. I, watch the, uh, the, the I don't believe that any of these. And they royal both served families. in the Royal Army, Na- Royal Army, Navy, Air Force for nearly eight years, and that ne- but never saw combat. Oh, yeah, William. Okay, so William actively served in the Royal Army, Navy, and Air Force for nearly eight years, but never saw combat. Harry, on the other hand, served in the British Army. You were right, served in the British Army for 10 years. He did two tours of Afghanistan as a helicopter, of Afghanistan as a helicopter pilot. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? That's what I said. William was very, eh. Harry was out there, you know what I mean? Drinking because he, in because, the sand. Because William, because William, because he he allowed, he gave him that. It's, you know what I mean? They call it an heir and a spare. He's, you know what I mean? That's what the name of his book was. An heir and a spare. He was a spare. You know? He can get buck wild because, you know, that's nobody but cares. That's what I'm saying. He's the heir to the throne. So he's the level of you can't be the heir to the royal throne, the pinnacle of colonialism in the modern world, and not feel like you're entitled to colonize whatever you see. You know, like mm-hmm. he looks, sees, gets what he wants. And I am sure that this is not the first woman he's colonized, but this is the first one that he has colonized that was close to his wife. And he's just been so used to colonizing. Away. Yeah, he's been so used to colonizing that he decided, fuck it, I'm going to colonize this one too. And he just got, he uh-huh. just, you know, went a little too close to the fire or whatever. You know, Icarus. So, you know, so I'm glad she's good though, because all the stories were saying that she was gone crazy and that she was missing. And then when everyone confirmed that that picture was CGI, I'm like, oh shit, they doctoring pictures of this woman. Well, the and then they blamed it on hers. <laughs> they blamed it on her. She had her say, I liked it. You know, like she's a, a you know photographer in the making. Yeah. And likes to play around with yeah, editing no. and and maybe she did put some. I don't know. I don't know. I I would never. I would. I'd never be able to tell because I'm not checking for people like that. You know, people right. they look at the zippers lining up and the hand placement. And yeah. I'm like, my yeah, God, I just glance at pictures so, like, oh, okay, cool. There we're so cynical. But you have to be that way in this yeah. day and age. Well, yeah, because you sent right because that funny, that fake funny post. Oh yeah, about the gorilla from, grip. Yeah, yes, yeah, was actually from Hannah Gutierrez's trial. Yeah, that's crazy though. And if that, you don't, that's been, I everyone Google thinks, it. Everyone you thinks it, that she's gorilla grip now, and it ain't got nothing to do with her. Nothing. Nope. Nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with her. When Hannah Gutierrez was calling herself that, that mm-hmm. was how she hit. That's what the name of her phone was. <laughs> First of all, that is. I don't think a, you can give yourself that. You're that That's some self confidence right there. <laughs> like, like to call yourself Gorilla Grip. That means you have had some men absolutely just say some amazing oh things to God. you in the midst of fucking. And hey, she. Well, I want to be able to post this on Anchor. Oh, my, my. There you go. Well, she <laughs> has. Uh, for her to call herself Gorilla Grip is very, very auspicious. And, um, no, hats off to your confidence for that one. Hey, here's what. So why Kate Middleton's reported farm shop visit with William is raising even more questions. So they must have went somewhere. Let's see. They were visited. Uh, they were spotted visiting a local farm over the weekend. But bizarrely, no photos were captured of the royals during their rumored outing. Hmm. I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's like if a, if a tree fa- falls in the woods and nobody it hears really it, it make yeah. a sound. I mean, the yeah. queen strikes me as the type where she'll she you know she already had Diana killed. I don't see why she wouldn't. The you know queen what I mean? is dead, huh? The queen is dead. She died. I don't keep up with this white shit. Oh yeah, because that's why old boy running that's, the shit now, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His her, her brother. Is she. The Who's Charles dude. brother. That's Bri- that Charles is her son. Her son. Oh God, Lord damn, have old mercy. Fuck. Lord have mercy. I don't. Care. Yeah. I, the he, way I don't care about these white people is. <laughs> and she did. Remarkable. The, Queen Elizabeth did not have Diana killed, so please stop. In fact, she did. No, she did. Stop. She it. had Diana killed. We all know she had Diana killed. Please don't make this Everyone knows she had Diana. Even Law and Order knows she had Diana killed. Law and Order. How does Law and Order know that? They did a whole episode on the shit or whatever. No, when? Like, Years ago, it was literally one of the episodes in Law and Order where they, Diana was killed, and then they traced it back to the the royal mother. Who Law and Order, regular Law and Order, or SVU? It was SVU because she was having an affair with the uh, with her bodyguard or whatever. I think that's what it was. What? Oh yeah, man. Who was having an affair with the bodyguard? That's what the episode was. The episode was. That's why they brought SVU. It was into supposed it. to be the queen. No, the the. The person who's playing Diana, the, per- okay. the Diana like figure. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. What's oh. having an affair with, and that's why the queen had her killed or whatever. That happened on Law and Order SVU. Yeah. I have to find that one. I'm going to find that up. So, oh my gosh. I don't, no, I don't think she had her killed. I think that 
when you people, you know, you run somebody chases, you know what I mean? Like yeah. whether it's a dog or it's kids or paparazzi, you run, somebody chases. You don't run, what's the worst thing that happens? You get your picture taken. It's not a gun. It's a camera. So anyway, I watched the crown. I only started watching the crown once Diana was on the scene. And this past season, obviously she dies. So I, I, just, I couldn't watch it. I stopped. And I think this next season's the last season, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway. So yeah, there's no pictures of her. And I I don't think so. We don't think she's dead, right? We just think that she I think she's like, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Yeah, so it's the Law and Order episode called Ripped from the Headlines. It's called Ripped from the Headlines. That's yes. so funny. All right, I'll have to find it. I don't remember that one, but it's funny. I always like when I watch Law and Order, Law and Order SVU marathons and I've forgotten what happened. Oh, yeah. I'm always so excited. Like, oh, it's like I'm watching it for the first time. Oh, I wonder. But you already know. You already know that the first person to arrest is not the not the person. Right. Yes. It's always, they follow, the, and I love that they follow the same pattern. We know the pattern. So then, like, in the first couple scenes, you know the killers in the first scenes that you're watching. You, you just do? don't know what. Yeah. So if you watch the first scene, the person who ends up being the killer is always in that first segment, but you don't know which one it is. It's always like the secretary, oh. or it's always like the like assistant. Like they interview that. The well, yeah. no, no, no. Not in. Not the person they arrest, but it's always the person around the arrest. The first season of this year, no. The person, we, did, we didn't see the person. Which well yeah with Maddie, was that that serial. yeah the Maddie yeah. episode yeah that was a serial or whatever but right. we didn't but we did see them remember and the we van. saw them in the, 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 the van yeah she was driving right, right past them. yeah exactly you're right you're right you're right okay they always put the they always put the killer right when you right in the beginning just like the other day with um with the girl that the uber wealthy guy. And he had raped that woman years ago, and she came. Oh back. yeah, the tech giant. Yeah, yeah. Was he, he was killed in, him when they were he, running. He interviewed. Yeah, he, he yep, was, he was in one of the first interviews that they did. Yes, he was. So you said Law and Order ripped from the headlines. Yeah, it's called the rip, rip from the headlines. Is the Princess oh, Diana episode? Gosh. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna look at that. Okay. Listen, man. You know the queen. The queen. God curse her soul. Don't um, say. That. The fuck? Why? She walked around with a crown with See? jewels in it from Africa. She walked. She had India a, too. A, India, India too. too. She has a a stash of wealth built on the backs of enslavement and colonization. Fuck the queen. Like I'm not. Is it just, just the queen or just the whole? It's the whole monarchy. The whole yeah. The, the whole yeah. royal everything. You know what I mean? Like they're the reasons why colonialism. And like we were talking about there, like how it's been marketed so well that people believe that the white is right standard of life is the way things should be. Is why people worship a fucking white version of Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio's lover. I mean Leonardo da Vinci's lover as Jesus. <laughs> like it's like. <laughs> British colonialism, like, has really brainwashed the world that everyone, everyone in various cultures either wants you to marry someone from their culture or marry someone white. It is like an Asian family will accept you either marry Asian or you marry white man. Mm -hmm. Indian family, you either marry Indian or you marry white man. Someone from Africa, you want you to marry African or marry a white man. It is very much... Either you marry someone from your culture or you marry white and that's it. Mm -hmm. And well, they've done a good job of yeah, spreading the standard their of message. beauty, yeah, across the world. The standard of beauty for years have always been blonde hair, blue eyed, super thin, mm -hmm. right? Just just the marketing, the marketing by the British monarchy and British colonialism has been something that should be studied not just in history books, but in marketing classes. Yeah, I mean, bleach and cream is prevalent in india and ah, africa as and bleach their skin bleach because they think skin. dark skin is wrong yeah. there are hispanic families that have derogatory nicknames for the darker members of their family mm -hmm. like the marketing and that has been done been um what's her name good. from 
uh, from Housewives, Desperate Housewives. Even yeah, she was talking about how she was. She was considered the dark. ugly one because she because was, she was dark. so dark. Yes, dark hair, and she's not even dark. Yeah, that's how crazy this is. Even Longoria is not even dark, and she's well, her hair was dark in her family. Yeah, yeah, because they were blonde. It's wild. And she's the pretty one. She's the prettiest. That's wild. And she's the ugly duckling. She's a to this day they still call her the ugly duckling. That's so mm, funny. Wild. Absolutely wild. So no, I don't care that the you know that the queen is burning in hell for all her misdeeds and wrongdoings. Oh I hope God. she enjoys her stay. Hope she That's smells so like nice. roasted wet dog and old boot leather constantly. You know? It it is what it is. Fuck the monarchy. Oh my gosh, I can't post this on Anchor. Yes, you can. No, you're saying bad words. Oh my gosh. They ask me. I have to be honest. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, <laughs> is that how we want to end? Fuck the monarchy. <laughs> is that how we're ending this? <laughs> Let me this, ask you a question. This what is, is light? This light show or anniversary? It was a light show. I think okay. this is a. It's not even a serious topic. I think it's something that is so <laughs> like it is such a flipping topic. The British monarchy. Oh Fuck my them, gosh. You know what, I'm saying? Oh my gosh. what is your hope for our podcast over the next year? Oh my gosh, my uh, my hope is that we continue to be inspired mm-hmm. to bring good content that mm-hmm. people want to watch and listen to and feel inspired by. Um. And that we just keep gaining a momentum as far as listeners. I mean, this is what I know that we say this. This is what we this is what we want to do. Like this is yeah. what we want to do when we grow up. Yeah. Most definitely. And yeah. So yeah. That's, dope. that's 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 my that is my um hope. So or or wish or <laughs> affirmation for manifestation. Yes, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. It's like if you build it, they will come. Facts. Build a dreams. You got to step out on faith. Mm-hmm. You no, know I mean? it's not stepping out on faith if you know exactly what's going to happen next. Exactly. Yep. 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 What about you? Shit. You know, hit a million followers. <laughs> you know I mean? Do Put a podcast a... from from a from a Madagascar. Yeah, exactly. Do <laughs> do a podcast from Bali. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go chill out in uh, in a safari. Do a safari podcast. Do the. South Africa somewhere or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let's so help bring some enlightenment to persons who are confused about why things are happening the way they do in corporate America. Help mm-hmm. bring some levity to the bullshit that you deal with in corporate America. Um, hopefully help inspire people to follow their dreams and not feel like they have to go through corporate America or mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? Let's Let's inspire some to do what they want to do. And even if that means leaving corporate America, which right. kind of transition us to our topic that we're going to talk about next week, where we're going to talk about being stay-at-home moms. and um, Or the, about the luxury of the being The luxury stay-at-home. of being stay-at-home mom right. and how it is not typically something that is looked at with admiration in minority communities mm-hmm. and whatnot. And, you know. How that is just as well, important as un- it was, un- you know, unattainable. So it was something right. that we just could not. Yeah. So we'll dive into that in more yeah. deep. Yeah, we were going to talk about it today, but it was just seemed so heavy and. Yeah, it's going to be. It's we, you know, it's going to be some. It's going to be some. I think a lot of people will be surprised as to how everything is not what it seems, right? I think in life we think, oh, we look at things on surface level. Well. Mm-hmm. You know, this is like this because of this. Well, no, there's layers to it. You know, I think like if anyone who goes to therapy, you'll see that your actions today are not just a reflection of your actions today, but it's a reflection of behaviors learned consciously and unconsciously mm-hmm. through years and years of branding and years and years of um, indoctrination or whatever. And so um, there are reasons why we. Our communities don't support stay-at-home moms like other communities. And we'll talk about those. Yeah. All right. Well, tell everybody where they can find us. Man, you can find us on the Twitter or the X, whatever the fuck we're calling it. You can find (laughs) us on YouTube, of course. Uh, Go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Um, Go ahead and look for us on Instagram. 
I'm not sure what's going on. Our YouTube numbers is going up. Our Instagram numbers are plateauing. Can y'all please, like all y'all folks are showing us all this love on YouTube, go over to IG as well. Follow us over there. Like us over there, please. You know what I'm saying? Twitter. Yeah, I don't understand it, like but if I had to pick one, I guess I'd pick YouTube. Yo, because them YouTube ducats be looking mad <laughs> nice, son. Uh, so if we're going to blow right. up somewhere, God yeah, bless YouTube. Make it, you know make it YouTube. You and it's funny because my husband, he says how, like, he's always so surprised, like, when the people who are influencers and so forth on YouTube, how YouTube, how they pay out so much money and it's not proven. I was like, they run commercials on Constantly. network television. You don't know if I'm going to buy that soap or that dishwashing mm-hmm. liquid or that car. It's a lot cheaper. I know. Back in my it, day, it, we like, didn't. Right. <laughs> I was like, but the kids... When I say the kids, like literally Ariel, that's what they watch. They watch that's YouTube it. like it's TV. That's I'm like, it. why don't you watch? They just watch people. So it's a lot cheaper for somebody to throw some bucks at this influencer gets all these eyes on their programming. They don't have to, they don't have to make the commercial. Nope. <laughs> they don't even have to make it. They they give the money and they make that. You know what I mean? Yep. They do the advertising. So um, it seems piece. like a win-win. That's funny you say that because my daughter's had braces now for a year and a half. Mm-hmm. And last night I go in her room and she is streaming a black woman on YouTube talking about taking care of her braces. And I'm like, you've had your braces for you. Why are you looking at somebody else take care of their braces like you don't take care of your braces? Like you don't know how to do it. Exactly. So, yeah. Enlighten you. Like you said, they they live on YouTube, man. I knew it when I saw when the kids used to watch people play video games. Oh yeah, my kids do that. Yeah, that like you're it. watching somebody play a video game. Now they have, but the other day my girlfriend's my uh, friend of mine, his daughter was saying that she was playing um, Monopoly online. Oh, Monopoly. you can play Monopoly now. Online. I never Why got into Monopoly. Why would you want to do that? Monopoly is something where you sit down with people and you just and for a couple hours, and you you know what I mean. I never could quite figure out what's the big deal with Monopoly. It's it never, fun. It never resonated with me. No. No, no. Hilton Head had Hill has a Hilton Head Opoly. We bought it. Oh, that's cute. It was yeah, it's cute because we used to like going to Hilton Head. Um so yeah. did Curtis. Shut up. Who even remembered that? Who remembered that? Heavenly remembered it. Curtis remembered it. Jackie remembered it. I didn't remember it. Simone how would I remember it? How would I have known? Like, I mean, even watching the show, how would you know? Because they mentioned it when he was fucking around in Hilton Head. Okay, please stop. Well, Did they mention it? Yeah. I thought that she was going to Hawaii and they took pictures of him going somewhere. I didn't I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> we all know now though. I know. I know. And it's I like Hilton Head. I want yeah, Hilton Head's for lovers. South Carolina's for lovers. Isn't that their slogan? Yeah, South Carolina for Lovers of the Confederate. I think it's the full (laughs) slogan. All right, we're just okay. We're just okay. (laughs) Twitter, uh, Anchor, well, Spotify, anywhere you can find podcasts. uh, Where can you find who? um, You can ask Siri and Alexa about us. Siri, ask Alexa. We there. And yep, she's lighting up now. So, and sometimes when you ask Siri things, Alexa will answer. Because Alexa is a Karen. She needs attention yeah. all the time. Because like, a lot of times I just ask Siri, because Siri was like, she's right there and you don't even need your phone to be plugged in. Alexa and be like, I, 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 I'm here too. To, I'm, I'm here not, too. I'm not talking to you. I'm, I'm here too. <laughs> don't forget me. I'm listening. I'm listening too. So, you should anyway. be able to say both of them be like, Siri and Alexa, one of you tell me, blah, 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 blah. Let's see who answers first. <laughs> who tells the first? Who, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it um happy anniversary. Happy again. anniversary, love. And um thanks everybody for tuning in and appreciate have y'all. A great week. Bye.